How you doing? This is Doug from FingersOnTheFrets.com. I've arranged uh, the song Away in a Manger for you here, and this is for intermediate solo guitar. So I'm going to go ahead and play through it, and then we're going to talk about the individual parts. <laughs> Okay, so you can see there's a, there's a middle section here that goes up the neck, we're going to discuss that. There's an introduction and an outro that is the same thing. Let's start with that. It's a, it's a bit of a D shape, we call it D5. I'm not playing the third up here with the F sharp. It's in 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and. So I'm kind of putting some accenting in there with the thumb to make it interesting. Now. I'm going to in, uh, harmonize the melody. Okay, key of D. Um, there's the melody on the A, but I'm going to harmonize it with intervals of thirds. So. So the harmony is D and then a G chord. And that's when I um, descend the melody from D. To C sharp to open B, and this is D over F sharp. So we have an F sharp and open D and an A. Okay, so now, now A chord. It's actually A sus two to an A. Okay, so the second finger would have stayed on the A note. G with an A in there. So it's an open B and a G. A note, D note, and then right into a D shape right there. Now back to the... Now this time, instead of just hitting the, G, the D and then hitting the G chord, I'm going to approach the, the G note with an F sharp down here. Check it out, it goes. A little bit more interest, and then, then, E minor, E minor 7. So here's a G on top. And then, and that's a D in the bass that time. Idea where I'm going to approach the G. So let me give you that last line. That's measure 21, by the way. And that's that D5 chord again. So you can see there's some more interesting, uh, the bass notes start to become a little bit more interesting as I'm playing along there. So now I put like a, what I consider a solo section or just like a little break from the action. Um, still 
obviously in 3-4 and D and everything, and, and trying to use some of the same rhythmic ideas and melodic ideas, but just kind of create my own little improvisation on that. So it goes like this. And this is the um, 11th fret and the 10th fret. So we have an F sharp and an A with an open D, which is just a D chord. down in the key of D using the chords that are appropriate in the key of D, like this. So that would be a D right there, right? And why is that D? Well, if, if I look at this shape, that's a big E form D chord, and I'm isolating these two notes, which would be played like that, but I'm going to play them like this. Then I move to this. Well, it's an E and a G. Now that would be an E minor A form chord. So I'm just going to play those two, and that's appropriate in the key of D. These, it's a D and an F sharp, and that's a part of the D chord A form, A major form. See that? So what I'm doing is just taking those uh, the notes, which would be the, you know basically the, the third and the fifth of the D chord, and then the root and the third of the E minor chord, root and the third of the D chord, and then the third and the fifth of an A chord. <laughs> If I'm going too far, just just don't worry about all that. But what I'm trying to show you is when you start to make little different melodic choices, all that caged work that we were talking about on the website, fingers on the frets, <laughs> um, keep studying that because when you see these little chord fragments when you're playing songs, you should start to relate that to what chord it comes from and it'll mean more to you. So for instance... hear how it's still a little bit of a way in the manger, but it's just like an improvisation that I came up with. The second ending... So that's G, open E, and then an A to the D5 again. Okay, so then we're going to do refrain number two. Now what we're going to do now is harmonize with the interval of a, of a sixth. So, instead of, that was the first time, this time, so I'm going to play the A note still on top, but I'm going to play a C sharp note on the third string underneath it and walk that down. Like that, so. Sounds really pretty. slow. Obviously, it's the same melody, but what I was trying to do was add a, a couple different little bass notes in there to make it sound more interesting. I harmonized the melody with the interval of the sixth that time instead of. It's a little different sound. So, if you're going to play the same melody again, because this song, these, these Christmas songs are repetitive, you want to try to do it a different way. Um, because this is an intermediate arrangement, I didn't go too far, 
to try to put the melody even higher or put the melody in the bass notes and harmonize the chords on the top. I just kind of did it two ways with a little break in between. It's not quite that hard. If I would have arranged this for an, an advanced version, it would have been much longer and I would have tried to do some different things with it. Um, but this is playable and it sounds nice. Just put some reverb and chorus on your amp and boom, you're good to go, you know. So this is uh, Away in the Major, my intermediate solo guitar arrangement. And this is Doug Edgel from Fingers on the Frets. And uh, I'll see you again next video. Thanks for watching.